I'm sure you've heard someone who's in support for mandatory vaccines say something like, "...vaccine mandates are the same as seatbelt laws. You wouldn't drive a car without wearing a seatbelt, right?" Even people like moral philosopher Peter Singer have used this analogy, stating that there is nothing unethical about segregating unvaccinated people. In his piece titled, Why Vaccination Should Be Like Wearing a Seatbelt, Compulsory, he wrote, Rules requiring that people going to cinemas, bars or travelling on a train show proof of vaccination are not a violation of anyone's freedom. Sorry Professor Singer, I'll have to disagree with you on that one. In this presentation, I'll show that comparing seatbelts with vaccines is like comparing apples with spaceships. They are so obviously different. Seatbelts versus Vaccines Number 1. Seatbelts are a temporary protection. Vaccines are a permanent, or at least semi-permanent, biological change. When I hop in my car, I put my seatbelt on. When I get out, I take it off. I don't have to permanently have a seatbelt wrapped around me all day long. The same can't be said for vaccines. Once it's in my body, it's in my body. If you believe that vaccines grant you long-lasting immunity, then you also must believe that they are permanently altering your innate biological state. Number 2. I can choose to avoid seatbelts. Not always, but if I really don't like wearing seatbelts, there are other modes of transport that I can use that don't require them. Walking, cycling, trains. I can choose to walk to work and my boss isn't going to say anything. But if I choose to go to work unvaccinated, well, that leads us on to Number 3. There are no seatbelt passports, check-ins, proof of seatbelt usage certificates, etc. With vaccine mandates, you can be refused entry to a bar or cinema. You can even lose your job if you are unvaccinated. But have we ever had such a thing with seatbelts? No. I can walk into the bar and nobody's going to ask me to prove that I wore a seatbelt on the way to the bar. Such a notion would be ludicrous. I can walk to work without wearing a seatbelt and I'm still going to have a job. Heck, I could even drive to work without wearing a seatbelt and I would still have my job. Number 4. The act of putting on a seatbelt will never harm or kill anyone, although it might contribute to harm during a crash. The physical action of buckling up a seatbelt isn't going to harm me. The same can't be said about a vaccine. Sure, fatal vaccine side effects might be very rare, but they do exist. If you force somebody to do something against their will, and they die, then that's on you. Morally speaking, seatbelt mandates and vaccine mandates are simply not the same. Plus, car manufacturers are held accountable for safety issues. Remember all those recent Takata airbag lawsuits? Number 5. Seatbelts were invented in 1885. Seatbelt laws weren't introduced till 1970. The first jurisdiction in the world to make it compulsory to wear a seatbelt in a car was the state of Victoria in Australia in 1970. That allowed many decades for seatbelts to be tested and refined to make sure they minimised injury during a crash. The same can't be said about the new round of vaccines. They've been raced out and at least some harm has either been dismissed or swept under the carpet. Number 6. Seatbelts don't lose efficacy over time. I don't need to get a new seatbelt every six months and continue using my old seatbelts, putting on more and more seatbelts as time goes on. Seatbelts in cars typically last the lifetime of the car. Number 7. Seatbelts help people equally. For some people, vaccines will not work. There will always be a small number of people who fail to make an immune response to a particular vaccine, leaving them vulnerable to the disease. Number 8. Vaccines are an incredibly complex biological medication. Seatbelts are a relatively simple mechanical device. Comparing vaccines to safety belts is to accept a mechanical vision of human biology, which is something characteristic of 18th century medicine. Remember educated people around that time used to think that bloodletting was an actual cure for many ailments. Are vaccine mandates the same as seatbelt laws? No. Seatbelts are only a temporary measure which I can avoid if I really want to. They don't interrupt my life. On the other hand, vaccine mandates are tearing society apart. I'll say it one more time just to make sure that my position is clear. I'm not against vaccines, but I am against vaccine mandates.
Thank you.